Brothers Alphabetic Journey through a DVD collection that knows not to stereotype people's culture. I'm yeah. Noah. I'm Josh. And yes, today we're doing Lady in the Trap. There's no stereotype. There's the only <laughs> you have to watch a 10 second yeah. uh confession by Disney before you get to watch this on Disney Plus saying, yeah, hey. I had, I had the DVD, so I didn't actually check Disney Plus. I was curious if the disclaimer that was a, on Fantasia was on this as well. You cannot skip it. Yeah. It's 10 seconds saying, hey, we know it's bad now. They knew it was bad then. Yeah. There's some things in here that mm, don't age well. Yeah, you go, it's like, oh, when was this? Was this the, you know, the 30s, the 40s? No, 1955. 1955 yeah. So, yeah. I and mean, and uh, some people say like, oh, well, that's not bad. It's like, listen. Civil rights. We're going to be doing all the stereotypes, whether they're good, bad, ugly, whatever. It's like, yeah. it's still a stereotype. Yeah. You can decide whether you think that's bad. Yep. But yeah. But yeah. But um, it was directed by Clyde Deuteronomy. Yep. Who was, and uh, Wilfred Jackson. Yep. Both were known for Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, Peter Pan. This is yeah, yeah, basically this is... in the era of Disney using all their in house people again yeah. and again and again. Yeah, and yeah, again. yeah, yeah. Uh, it's writers. Uh, the story was by Ward Green. Yes. Uh, but penned by uh, Erdman Penner, mm -hmm. who also Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella, yeah, Peter yeah, all Pan. those things, yeah. We're gonna, there's going to be a theme here. There's going to be a theme on all these things, yeah. Uh, starring Barbara Luddy, yep. Sleeping Beauty, yeah, right. uh, The Mini Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, yep. and Heading North. Mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, Larry Roberts, who did not do as many cartoons. It seems like he was more... Not vaudevillian, but soundtrack singer kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Um, he was in Damon Runyon's Theater and Lights, mm. Camera, Action yeah, movies these, that I yeah, have. These are old. And then Peggy Lee, who beyond this was known for Pete Kelly's Blues. Yeah, I and mean, he's, she's, she's, she's more she's the singer. singer. This was, this was more of a get that we got the singer for a speaking role than a uh, we got a, uh, a voice actor to sing. Yeah, and I think this is one of those like. One of the early indications of a Disney getting star power. Exactly. Because you, you have a lot of the in-house voice actors. Voice actors you know. But yeah, this is where you're starting to get star power brought in yeah. to kind of juice it up. Yeah, it's like, oh, this person's in it too. Yeah, I, should, mm -hmm. I should go to that. But uh, yeah. as much as you can have a synopsis for synopsis this. Yeah, let's, let's hear what they say. <laughs> the romantic tale of a sheltered uptown cocker spaniel dog and a streetwise downtown mutt. Yeah, I, I think I heard that song from uh, Billy. <laughs> that Uptown that... Cocker Spaniel. <laughs> living in her. But uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it starts as a lot of Disney films of the time did where you have the, music and a quote and a serene yeah. town. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's you know, the, the opening, the full credits basically over the famous uh, song of this movie with just drawings of dogs. And then a uh, transition to a snowy town, maybe during Christmas time. Yes, it, it, it's a town in Missouri. Yep, because it is based off of Disney's hometown. Yes, so yeah, and you know, since Disney was born in 1901, I'm guessing this, you know, based on all the technology, this is early 1900s. Well, yeah, we have the we mostly horse and carriage, a few, few cars, but yeah, yeah. judging by the dress, it's like it, it is, is late 1800s or early 1900s. Early 1900s. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're it's, talking it's that, that 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 turn of the, that turn of the old century. Um, yeah. you know, going it's Christmas time. There's yeah. a box under there. My question is, yes, how long has that dog been in that box? Because she says I've been eyeballing it a while. I'm like, oh my, my god, god. Yeah. how long yeah. has Lady been in that? Yeah, box? and we got uh, Jim Deere and Darling. We don't know if these are actually their names or I just mean, nicknames. But that, it, it, it's obviously nicknames. I do think it is cute that yeah. that's what Lady thinks their, their names, names are, are because that's how they refer to themselves. And they, and they do try to do everything from the dog's perspective. You don't actually see their faces that often. Uh, yeah, and it's all low angles. Uh, this dog in the hat box is actually from an, uh, a story Disney told his animators of saying, yeah, I messed up a date. I kind of missed it. So I got her a puppy in a hat box. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was like, all right, you know, this was tied in. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but yeah. I think the gist of it, and it's like, if you've ever had a dog, yeah. is puppy training is hard. Yes. You think you're going to put your foot oh, yeah, down and be trying, like, no, she will sleep. I'm going to put the paper she down. Not, she, yeah, she'll know where to go. She, she will never sleep. sleep in the bed. And that first night howling is so accurate for so many dogs. Yes. Uh, it's like they don't want to be left alone. They are scared. Yeah. They are going to make that whiny howl. Yes. And you have to either say, this is where they're sleeping and I'm well, not sleeping tonight or they come be with you. And I couldn't find any, yeah. is like, were they using real dog sounds or did they I, get someone to do? I couldn't either, but those sound way too accurate. As I was going to say, I was like, I'm not saying that they didn't have a voice actor yeah. who could do that, but I was like, 
yeah. the the puppy howls were really, really like, spot my, on because my uh my dog actually yeah. kind of poked its head out like what are you guys yeah, watching no, that no, sounds a little no, I, I was watching it and my new feed just cut popped her head i was like what, what's going on what's going on is there, another, is there a puppy is there in here another dog here what's going on <laughs> and i do love like we kind of skipped over the opening credits of, of them saying there's the the title of like dogs are important dogs are important we, all dogs are important be nice to them yeah <laughs> yeah it's the bob barker before bob barker yeah yeah <laughs> Uh, but we flash forward about mm, six months or so. Yeah, yeah, six months or four months. Because if you depends get, on when. Yeah, you know, it's, like, it's six months late. You know, they're they're she's six, six months she, old. She's six months old. Did they get her at two months, which is when you usually get a dog? But it's the eighteen hundreds. She might have, they got mine right right away. Who knows? Exactly. But we you know we get a time jump. Yeah. Yes, lady chases various things. Yes, and you know gets coffee and donuts. Yes, I I, I and then she goes out and meets the town the, her yes. friends. So let's start with the first stereotype, the Scottish one, the Scottish Jacques. Scotty. Jock. And uh, I recall when watching this as a kid that he was my favorite. And no, I still kind of like him. <laughs> it, no, I still like him, but it's like, but it is, I, yeah. I'm going to call it where it is. It's, like, this film yeah. relies on cultural Real stereotypes. stereotypes. Yeah. The, the Scottish, Scottish Terrier, Terrier is, is Scottish, Scottish, and he's doing a song. Yeah. Luckily, he isn't drunk. This I is mean, true. I mean, like, I mean, I'm not saying positive or negative. There are yeah. definitely negative, negative stereotypes in this. This comes off better, yeah. but he is yeah, no, he's doing sing, a stereotypical he's singing, Scottish he's, he's thing. He's singing Scottish yeah, songs. Uh, we yeah. also get introduced to Trusty, yes. who is a, a southern, southern bloodhound, bloodhound yeah. who used to chase down criminals. Yes. Nothing more needs to be said about no, no, that. Yeah, no, they're six foot tall, whatever. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, these are the, the two neighbor dogs that yeah. she associates with. We also get uh, to introduce to Tramp, which he's a railroad yeah. dog. Yep. Yeah. Who you know knows his way around town, yep. and you know, uh, I say like for a small town, this has a very nice collection of uh, uh, restaurants. Yeah, and he goes to Tony's. Tony's, which Italian I'd, stereotype? It is no, it is very much Italian an Italian stereotype. stereotype. I'd say this veers into not a good stereotype. I mean, if they but, were dressed differently, it would be Mario and Luigi. You know, <laughs> later on, we would see that. Yeah. If we're gonna, but it's like you know the the big. You yeah. know, bombastic, you know, uh, hey! well, yeah. The, yeah, no, it's yeah. what, uh, you yeah. know, family guy made fun of. It was like, yeah. like that's yeah. not Italian, yeah. but that's it's like, you yeah. know, the big smile. It's like, yeah, you but, could say like, it, we're not saying it. Like, these aren't bad characters. They're just stereotypes. It's like, it's like stereotypes yeah, yeah. and yeah. we need to call it where it is. Yeah. But um, you get the early warning signs of like, if there is a, yeah, it's, it's an the, antagonist, the, the dog catcher is yeah, out and about. Yeah. So, and I do love that the dog catcher is whistling uh, what, uh, what's that doggy in the window or something like that? Yeah, he's always whistling that. It's he like, does, oh. well, he's whistling like different things, different yeah. ditties of the yeah. time. Uh, but yeah, no, Tramp sees that some of his friends are in the yeah, uh, the who's Yeah, you get a British bulldog, and yeah, and then, um, uh, but yeah, but we then come to, I mean, it, it, this is all to get the tramp to lady. Yeah, I mean, this is this, 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 uh, being chased one way or another gets him to the nice part of town. Nice part of town, is, you know, and and lady is confused because yeah. the the humans are acting weird. Yeah, and we all know that it's you know yeah. a baby is on the way, but yeah. Tramp is you know the Cody Fingers voice of reason of like, hey, a baby's nothing great. You know, your life's gonna kind of get turned. Yeah, you're no longer the center of attention. Yeah, and which you're going is to not untrue, untrue but, but I mean, he he definitely has a yeah. negative view of humanity. Where, yeah, and it's uh, but yeah, but we we get the pregnancy crave all the 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 a uh, very nine uh quick nine months of pregnancy craving yeah we, we go through time up. moves slowly towards yeah. having the baby. the baby you know yeah. the it's a boy yeah. oh i'm so excited i'm so excited and then introducing i do like that they they don't you know they're they're not actually meet the lady they actually have lady meet the baby well and then they pull back the covers it was like, yeah. like there's a few things here yeah. and like and i'm wondering if this is there's a few instances yeah. of like you have to know the time and place, and I think that yeah. has been lost. Yes. Um, a, I was like, those look like beakers. Did they yeah. used to feed babies out of yeah, beakers? beakers? Yeah, yeah, no, um, sterilized beakers. <laughs> the I, I bumped on this too. When they show the baby, my- I screamed a little. I was like, <laughs> I'm like ah, what is that? Kill that, it with fire. <laughs> that is a half- drawn gerber baby <laughs> i know i was like was someone trying to do a realistic baby and just like we can't animate it just, just leave boom. it just leave it there <laughs> i i also have to point out this yeah. is disney magic no new parent is that energetic <laughs> <laughs> yeah you are not running around happy, happy go lucky like, you are exhausted <laughs> yeah that would be more realistic of why they're ignoring the dog and not taking it on the walk it's like i, I can't i'm tired i'm tired uh no. transitioning to 
Yeah. They're going to go on a vacation. Because all new parents do. Like all new parents do. Yeah, they've they, had a hard time. They they leave the baby with Aunt Sarah, who is not fond of dogs. Well, who would also be maybe an antagonist. There's not really an antagonist in this movie. No, so. there's, I mean, there's hints. Like yeah. Aunt Sarah, kind of. Aunt Sarah the, kind the cat's of, kind, kind of. of. The, the rat, kind, kind of. of. So, I mean, yeah, it's like, so. it's, it's not the There's no real bad guy in this no. movie. No. Yeah. But we get the most what? racist part of this film. What? And if, And actually, a point that if you ever want to say you know when someone says well i don't think disney's racist, racist. this is one of the things you point to uh, right, right away, right away. Is it's the, like the we are siamese yeah the, the is, siamese cats who they are, are buck tooth they yeah. are you know yeah. they, they Cloak, you know uh, nicknamed Cy and am yeah and like yeah. they talk with a stereotypical yeah, oh, Asian, hello kind of thing yeah. yes and it's sorry like, about that it is racist oh yeah 100 percent. 100 percent. yeah and it's like and like I know people remember this song and it oh, is it's a, it's a it, it gets in your head. Yeah. But it's like but when you hear it, it's like they are to depict how people felt about, you know, Chinese, yeah. Japanese, yeah, South I mean, Asian stuff. Like, I mean, you are not to trust them. I mean, they this are... is post World War II, but the ye- the yellow fear kind of. Well, yeah, that, it's like, that, it's like the, they the are to not be do, trusted. Yeah. They, you know, it's like, yeah. yes, I know you're like, well, they're cats. I'm like, yeah, but they're depicting a very yeah. specific person. And yeah. that's. Yeah. yeah. But they um, basically. And, they, and just to point out. And you should not bring new uh, cats that don't know a newborn to the newborn's house. Well, there's, especially if there's like a fish and a bird as well. This, and Aunt Sarah sucks. <laughs> like, Aunt Sarah, you did not think about your racist animals at all. And this is like, well. It's like I, I understand that the the uh, Jim Darling and, and Jim whatever they wanted a vacation, but they should have cleared some things out. I like, know. Are you bringing your cats? Cats don't. Don't. Yeah. But basically. Aunt Sarah blames the dog for all the shenanigans the pro, that happens. Yeah. Like, and we're gonna muzzle you. Yeah. Um. And she, ladies on the run. You know, yeah. And and she's chased down by the yeah. the, 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 the bad dog. The, the bad. She literally goes to the wrong side and of the tr- the train tracks. But we find out that that uh, Tramp Tram- is a brawler. Yeah. He and can and, hold his own. and I like that this is kind of presented like a a teenage tussle than like an actual fight yeah. kind of thing. Like he, no one gets hurt per se. per se. It's just like no, I know what to do. I know what to do. I can hold my own. Oh, I'm, a, yeah, I'm a big. Yeah. I know. Uh, I'm a scrapper. But he, he sees that, she, you know, she's in straight. It's like, oh, I'm going to help you out. Let's go to the zoo. Zoo. Uh, stereotype. <laughs> stereotype no- number four, I like guess. Four yeah, no- uh, is the Irish, Irish cop. cop singing his song and about like, you know, Irish freedom. And yeah. All. And so uh, he, he, they, he pulls a, a bamboozling yeah, like, of, yeah, you know, he causes distraction by making him seem like he's with this person. Yeah. And they get into a, a tussle. Fight, yeah. So they could sneak into the, the zoo that's closed, I guess. Yeah. And so they, Go to various animals to try to help, and we get to the beaver, which that's kind of fun. Yeah, I mean, this the beaver is, works. The beaver works, and the beaver is uh, Disney was well known for reusing animations. Yeah. I don't think this is a hundred percent reusing, but it is a a direct uh, similar to the Gopher and Winnie the Pooh. Same well, it's type. De- of, it's definitely the same. Same actor. Spe- same speaking style. Same thing. So yeah. yeah. But you know they they work. You know they, they, they get the muzzle. They off. get that's the muzzle off. I, know this. <laughs> I was like, Mike. Man, that beaver would die a so very painful, painful death. death. How he went down. Well, I just love like this zoo has a really big beaver enclosure. Yeah, like monkeys, no. Crocodiles, lions, no. Beavers, give him everything. He needs a mountain, he needs a, a mountain, forest, a river. A river. Yo, yo, give it to him. All know. the money's going to the, the beaver. beaver. Yeah. Um, we have a few where the tramp says, like, you know, this is my life. I get to yeah. go to house to house. I have a different name in every house. Yeah. Where we have a few more stereotypes German, of Germans and Italians Bundle, yeah. and Irish. Yeah. Where he's mocking their yeah, accents. Yeah, their accents. Yeah. Uh, we get the famous dinner spaghetti scene, yes. which. Yeah. No, the the Tonys with the two chefs. Uh, it's, it's iconic. Spaghetti with meatballs, which does, you know, indicate that this is America. Yes. You because, know, <laughs> spig- you know, a little history lesson of uh, a lot of Italian dishes that we know as famous yeah. are actually American Italian immigrants because right. you know, like let's say chicken Parmesan, yeah. that's not Italian. That's American Italian because it would be you know, like eggplant Parmesan because when the Italians came to America, they got meat yep. and they made dishes. So Italian with meatballs, American. Yep. And uh, this very famous scene of them eating the same noodle and coming to closer mm-hmm. has now become famous in all Italian restaurants as pulling a lady on a tram. Okay. And it's also been mocked and recreated in several movies. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No, it, it is. It is this scene. This it is, is the, the scene. This of is the, the movie. scene you think of when you think yeah. Lady and Tramp. You know, the song of uh that they're singing of uh What a Beautiful Night or Bella Notte. Yeah. Disney didn't actually want it in the film. Oh. And he's like, it's like, I don't think I need it. And it's the most famous part of this entire film. So luckily he was overruled. Yeah. Or I like it that they end up created on, a, a, otherwise, yeah. That they end up on Make Out Hill. Yeah. yeah <laughs> We're like, like 
they don't have cars yet. They're, they're all there in their carriages. I guess Make Out Hill always yeah. existed. In- and I couldn't find what the initials stood for. Of GM. I could not find I, that I either. I don't know if they were writers or something, or if they were some. Yeah, no, I, I could not find. I, I mean, it's clearly referenced different. something, but but I was like, that's too prominent. Specific, like, specific but like, not to be. A, I a hint. did not find it in my notes either. But it's like you, you know, they keep going, and then. But yeah, but the next day, you know. Still, I do like that uh, lady is still loyal to the baby. That's like who will take care of the baby? Yeah, because he's talking about like let's be free. And she goes, yeah. that sounds awesome. But I need to be. I need to take care of my family. Family, yeah. and you know, uh, they just like, have you ever chased chickens? Yeah, you know, it's 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 a it's. I think it's it's an excuse scene to get her captured. Yeah. Um. Yeah, into I mean, the pound. Yeah, you know, it's like let's have this fun thing. You know, this you know, brush with death, and now you get to go to the pound where crying dogs, man. Well, I was like, I was like, I now know where the Sarah McLaughlin. I know, I mean, the, I know the same thing. It's like, <laughs> it's like, it's like in the arms <laughs> of an angel. It's like, like crying, you know, crying dogs, dogs that Sarah McLaughlin has nothing on these guys. No, <laughs> this is, it's like, I mean, maybe. The, I recall our mom always skipping this part. Like, yeah, for it's like, like, maybe there was a push back yeah. in the 1950s, like, we need to get more shelter dogs yeah, adopted. Of, yeah. Let's pull those, like, we gotta go get a dog after yeah. watching this. And yeah. maybe it happened. Maybe I don't it happened, know. I don't know. Uh, but it, it is that lesson of, you know, a dog's more than a Christmas presents for life. It's Come on, people. You know? uh, yeah. Three more stereotypes yep. just to get them out of the way. Uh, the German dachshund. Yep. Uh, the Russian borzoi, but at the time it was a Russian wolfhound. Okay, yeah. And a Mexican chihuahua. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so they're all there. They're all there. Do with they're doing their, doing what the they, information. They're just doing their things. They're just got their... But yeah. basically, uh, this is... Yeah, uh, uh, the whole purpose of the scene is to have the song. Yeah, to have Peg, the uh, f- the female dog that uh, is defending ladies and is the famous singer. Right? Yeah, and, is know, to have this song and kind of say like, "Hey, know. not all dogs have great lives." Yeah, and you know, and also to drop the ball that you know, hey, the tramp has had other ladies. Yeah, you know? uh, yeah. yeah. To then she gets out because she's got her collar. Yeah, and we also see that oh, you know, dogs get put down in the, the pound. Yeah, no, this is to show yeah. the the dark side of being yeah uh, on I, your own. own yeah. Uh, but she's returned. She's mortified. Yeah. Tramps. Yeah. You know, on the outs. She gives him the cold shoulder. You know, the Joe and or not Joe. Um, uh, Jacques, Jacques and, and Trusty, trusty trying to get her happy by saying, "Hey, you can live with us." Yeah, and it's like just... they. I think it was the idea that, like they're worried that she's going to get thrown out. Yeah, I mean, it, that, it's yeah. not a hundred percent clear, but I guess and it's like this is still just Aunt Sarah. She, she, this is not her people. You know, but yeah. uh, we get a tussle with the rat the rat yeah. comes into focus yeah i want to point this out and, and the only reason i know the dangers of this is because of our mother and yeah. this is one of those things i i think should be pointed out because it's not part of our yeah it's not zeitgeist modern, 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 yeah. the reason this was scary yeah to this is because I, I asked my wife, like, do you understand why this is being yeah. made a why, big deal? Why, why this fight with the rat seems like a life and death situation. I like what the other one, and which she's is like, like, oh, a well, she could spread disease. Oh, the rat is like, like no. no. Back in the early Whatever, turn of the century, yeah. is rats would chew off babies' faces. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, this, what, you know, this, was a, think, this was a, this was a, this is an danger. example of like, it's lost to time because, yeah. you know, for the for the best, we live in a better yeah, we don't have time period. We don't have to worry about yeah, more, rats chewing secure, out baby faces. Yeah, but this, but this was baby, you know. a higher stakes that yeah. I think at least the parents taking their kids to would have film, understood. Yeah. Would have said like, "Hey, this is why that's scary." Yeah, it so might have existed in the fifties. I'm not one hundred percent sure, yeah. but this is why Some parts of the country maybe yeah. maybe. Yeah. But it's like this is why uh, Tramp's actions are so heroic. Heroic yeah. is because he's yeah. taken on this rat that seems to have. Gotten bigger yeah, during no, the fight. Yeah, no, it's like it, it, it varies as the fight goes on. That, that, you know, it, yeah. as all good fight stories go, a, the rat gets bigger. bigger as the story goes as on. It goes yeah. on, yeah. but he, you know, defeats it. But Aunt Sarah yeah, blames the, all the dogs. You yeah. know, knocks the babe over, which is you know, yeah. well, let's say like that wouldn't be terrifying to come it, in to see. see you know, two dogs, but but yeah. he, you know, it it, it gets Tramp a first class ticket back to the pound. And as the they say, it's like we're not even gonna wait on this one, kind of thing. Yeah, well, it's like it's like oh no no, this one's a bit of pain in my butt. I'm yeah, gonna. Yeah. But um, the Lucky and Jock realize, There's, oh crap, we, he's we actually a good to, dog. Yeah, we should go save him. We should go save him. There's a, a chase, chase scene, you know. which I come back to. I'm not 100 percent sure if it's a actual Bloodhounds Bay, bay or, or if they got it's like, but it's good. I could imagine they went and a lot if the person that actually loved dogs would go and get dog recordings. But yeah, and they they chase it down and uh, they stopped the cart by Trusty getting in the way. Yeah, and and getting, getting run over. 
And this was supposed to be his end. He was supposed to die. Okay. And Which would not put it out of Disney's Disney. realm of, we but did not devastate you enough. enough. You need to be but balling. Walt Disney, because of that, learning from his mistakes, said, I can't have another Bambi. <laughs> this dog has to live. And well, that's why and, he shows and up and at the I end. And I also remember that my mom did not yeah. like this scene either. Yeah. But it was okay because you knew yeah. he was going to... Be okay because he shows up with a broken leg or something like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, and then we get the... A uh, happy ending of, yeah. you know, uh, the kids grown up. Yeah, he's a little lady bit, and the taller. tramp have been yeah. united. They, they are, are he's part of puppies. the family. Uh, and as all genetics, if you're if you're a daughter, you look like your mom. If you're a son, you look like your dad. Yeah, because that's how puppy genetics work. But yeah, and then then they end the line on Lucky's of, you know, he's been trying to talk about his you know uncle old reliable and everyone's like you already told us and all the kids are like. You haven't told us. It's like, well, well, I done plum for done, God. Done plum. And that's how we end the movie. Which, and that's fine. It's fine. And I mean, we go back to the another uh, Christmas village. So it's like, it's been like two years from the beginning. Give or take. Because yeah, we've I gone mean, through at least one other winter. So it's like, yeah, this is a quick. Like I said, I enjoyed that they did it all from the dog's perspective. Yes. Low angles and, you know, you don't see the faces. No, I mean, it's, and... it's, 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 it's the things of early Disney where you yeah. realize that the story is light yes you're you have to put in a time and place of like you know like these things weren't being done yet yeah and so it's like oh we could have a perspective from the dog yeah, which, we you know, have a dog story. which they do later on like with oliver and company or, and uh, rescuers 100, down or 101 under. dalmatians yeah, you could definitely like, see as like even peg shows up in that movie it's like we can do this but better yeah, yeah. and so this this is the jumping off point is like these songs aren't particularly no like most of the songs are like because like the baby the, song is like well that's yeah. just weird yeah. it's like but it, yeah. it is i mean yeah i was it, like what is the baby it's like is this a song are you speaking or are, are we are you inventing rap <laughs> it's like i also thought it's like this is the voiceover you hear in like you know a sex ed class like what, what is, is a, a baby? baby turn to page next slide <laughs> but it's like yeah. i mean and, and I, I mean it's that hard thing is like it is high in the disney pantheon because it yeah. is so iconic it is classic and all that but it's but also, watching it as an adult it's like it is, you go Oh, for an hour and 16 minute movie, there are a lot of uncomfortable things. Thing, it's like, and I will be like, I have not shown my children this well, for that specific well, this, reason. And also, it's not that compelling of a movie. Well, no, I was like, but it's like, if I, I want to do classic Disney, there are easier ones, ones to, to do, do yeah. that are better. Yeah. Um, and it's like, no, but it's like, yeah. I'd want them to be able to just be like, hey, this is all wrong. I mean, and, and, and in essence, this is just a uh, a class love story. I mean, we've seen it's you know that Cinderella kind of love story of rich to poor. Yeah, and, well, and, but, and but like I said, all dogs have uh, words. words. Yeah, yes, yeah. So, yeah. you know, I mean, there is a lot of nostalgia here. I am not saying it is a bad. No, film. no. I'm saying there, like everything. In the past, yeah. some things I, age better than like others. I, like we mentioned with Fantasia, they cut it out. I'm glad they didn't cut it out because no, no. then we could say, this is what they did. No, and it's this like, and, they, and I'm not saying this is like, no, I am glad they have left it as it yeah. is because I think it is a learning opportunity. Of like, listen, in 1955, five, this was acceptable. It's, it's in like AFI's top 100 still. You know? Right. And it's like, I think yeah. as long as you, and yeah, you have to have that conversation of like, whether, you know, like, was it wrong? Yes. Is it feel bad? Yes. yes. But it did happen. We cannot ignore, ignore it. it. And, you know. But yeah. But look to our Fantasia ones of, you know, yeah. like, like this is yep. history now. Yeah. So, but yeah. Yep. But, you know, in terms of history, mm. we're now going forward mm. into a fanciful future in Australia where they all have lost their guzzoline. Oh. <laughs> yes. We're going to watch Mad, Mad Max, Max 2. 2. The start of uh, yeah. the Mad Max is, yeah. in essence. Yeah, and if you're wondering why we don't call it the Road Warrior, because they don't even know if, you know, that was just in America. <laughs> it's like, so I didn't know how to qualify, and it's the only Mad Max I think I own. So. Yeah. So I didn't want to move it anywhere else. So yeah, join us for Mad Max 2. 2, not Fury Road. I just <laughs> want to say it's so bad. Yeah, but not Fury Road, but it's the Road Warrior. The Road Warrior, and, yeah. Mad Max 2. Yeah. Make sure you get the right. Uh, if you watch Mad Max 1. You're going to be confused. You're going to say this is not post-apocalyptic. It's like no, it's not. This is a lot happens to Australia, but yeah, uh, you know, if you've never seen Lay the Trap, it's only it's on Disney Plus. It's only an hour and sixteen minutes. So yeah, you can do it real quick. Um, and if not, join us next week. Mad Max. All right, bye. <laughs>
I went to a zoo once that only had one animal, and it was a dog. It was a shit zoo. Yeah.